And now I am absolutely delighted to welcome to the stage our founder, Davis Finney. You may have met Davis, you may know about Davis from various events that you've checked in on before. You may have met him at, a, at an event in person that we've done, or maybe even on a bike ride. Um, Davis is the founder of the Davis Finney Foundation. He and his wife, Connie, founded the Davis Finney Foundation back in 2004 with the idea that uh, people really, uh, people with Parkinson's deserve to know more about living well and quality of life with Parkinson's. And uh, that is the inception of the Davis Finney Foundation. Uh, prior to being diagnosed with Parkinson's at the age of 40, Davis was a professional cyclist, but for the last 20 some years, he's really become a Parkinson's advocate and leader in the Parkinson's community. He a Davis. And uh, in 2015, he was honored at the White House as a champion of change in the Parkinson's community. So welcome Davis. Thank you, Polly. And let me say hello to my people out there. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Folks, you may say hello to Davis in the uh, chat. If you've got questions for Davis, we'll take those as well. Um, Davis, I thought we could replay the whole video since we were without sound. Would you like to play out that entire thing? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, sorry, folks. <laughs> You're getting some thumbs up reactions. Feel free to use the reactions, folks, in there. Uh, we'll we'll send a link to that video. So for those of you who missed it, uh, we can uh, you can see it after the fact. So how are you feeling today? I feel great, thank you. Great. I slept, slept reasonably well and minded that I, mindful that I was getting up to speak to the Parkinson's nation. I went to bed early and took care of myself like I would as if I was going into a bike race or something today, so. Yeah, I feel good. Thanks. Super. So that, that's one of the things that uh, I want to focus on today is it, with you is uh, the the things that you do to feel better, especially as it relates to your motor symptoms. Tell, would you tell us a little bit about your routine, what you've learned over the last 20 some years? Uh, what do you do every day to help with your symptoms? Well, feel better my my primary complaint for motor control issues is balance i mean originally it was tremor and i mentioned that in the video but that's been well managed by a successful dbs procedure over 14 years ago now and so it's more balanced and having my feet sort of stick to the floor when I'm trying to move around the kitchen or put dishes away, things like that. So I find that I need to be mindful as, as possible of what I'm doing. And even there's a split of, of what you and your Parkinson's are managing and what you're trying to accomplish with your hands, like putting a dish away and not breaking. Yeah. And, and so I would say that, that being mindful of whatever I'm doing and not introduce, introducing any more dist distraction into the equation is helpful, for sure. Yeah, that's interesting that uh, we had Dr. Jay Alberts uh, speaking this week for us a webinar on postural instability and freezing of gait, and and he was uh, mentioning that we're always dual tasking. Like even if you're trying to reduce the number of distractions, as you're mentioning, to a bare minimum, you're, what you're talking about is you're, you're thinking about your feet. 
and you are you're talking about you're thinking about your feet and you are uh trying to put away a dish that's right task. yeah that's, a, that's exactly a you do. yeah well and then when your feet are sort of stuck to the floor and you're twisting your upper body you're it's a recipe for a bad outcome yeah. but but so there's I found that a lot of it is, is being aware of tactics. And so my tactic is to wear a supportive house shoe that's mm -hmm. not so sticky, but not necessarily completely sli slippery either. And that works well for me to not have my feet sort of have the feel that they're, they're, they're glued on to the full. So what does a house shoe look like for you? Well, Is this something you could flip on? Oh, very nice. Well, and what I like about this is that it has a foot bed, which is supportive of my dystonic foot. Mm -hmm. where my left foot, my toes tend to curl under. And so I need some support for my toes. Yeah. And, and that's, again, just a small uh, idea of how you have to be thoughtful in every part of your action. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I think it's uh, what we're learning from this community, right, is this crowdsourcing of ideas that to make every day easier, the sort of like right. life hacks, things that people life do. Hacks. Yeah. TV life hacks. Yeah. Yeah. We should brand and that. And then also, yeah, well, maybe already overused. Probably. In any case. But also... I go to the gym with some regularity. Um, now that COVID has changed my habits and I'm not doing the big classes currently, yeah. I go to a local gym with a Parkinson's friend, Kevin Kwok, and we've developed a, a good routine of very of setting up various stations which work on our balance and strength and core core stability mm -hmm. and and that's been actually quite helpful and is a lot of fun and we use part of the time just to catch up and chat yeah which is an annoyance to his girlfriend unfortunately <laughs> who's waiting for him but but it's good for us just to have that social interaction and then and then we get to it with the way work out yeah so somebody's just asked in the chat what 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 is your exercise routine so you talk about going to the gym and doing this sort of circuit that you have created oh yeah i mean I mean, I'd have to show you, it's hard to describe, but we have elements where we have light free weights in our hands. And then we're balancing on a BOSA ball, yeah. if you know what that is. Those half, the, those half balls. The half ball, yeah. yeah. The, 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 the Anders which makes it a less stable platform and and you know and you can do the weights as you see fit or yeah. or just hold them in your hand or and sometimes we'll we'll throw something to each other to each other and we're always practicing our mind mind game like name that tune for whatever song is playing and the band and things like that. And, and or we set up a, 
a sort of grid pattern on the floor with uh, jump ropes and we'll do various foot drills mm -hmm. between between the squares. And I find having that grid is very helpful as a cue because, you know, again, my feet are reluctant to lift off the ground of their own accord. And so I think, I think it's really helpful to have a visual cue on the floor. Yeah, that makes sense. And so in addition to your gym workouts, what are other practices that you do to help with your motor symptoms and, and just your Parkinson's well, in general? Well, I mean, my background is cycling and cycling is proven to be so good, not just for me, but for, for so many folks. And Jay Albert's work has shown that. Yeah. And so I, I try to, to get out on my e-bike, right? I mean, I make it a little bit easier for myself. I use an electric bike. But, but that said, I can still go as hard as I need to go and go up into the local hills and just enjoy being outside. And so there's that. There's some amount of walking and hiking that I do with my wife and uh, so you know I mean it's mostly just being active and I feel like that's the vital piece that you know everyone hears from us about exercise 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 but it really is shown to be the one way that you can take back some power over this disease and the course of this disease. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that there's, there's a multitude variety of ways that you can achieve that. And if you're in a boxing class, class or a Tai Chi class or a dance class, those are all great forms of movement. But it's just the, the key thing is that you You've got to keep moving and you've got to be active. And the, to a degree, the more that you can do that, the better you'll be served and the lo longer you'll be have a period of well-being. I mean, I've had Parkinson's for 20 years diagnosed and 22 years diagnosed. And I'm still kicking pretty big, taking some big bites out of my kicks. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, good. Davis, thanks for sharing some of your uh, tips and what you do. Well, well thank you. Yeah.